What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis, this is TWA Motorsports, and today, yes, we are gonna be cleaning on the S10. Now, I told you guys when I bought this thing, wasn't gonna spend a ton of money on it, I'm not blowing it apart, I'm not making a project. The primary purpose of this thing is to teach my son how to drive a manual transmission, and that is, we're closing in on taking him out. So, uh, a couple things need to be addressed. First of all, I, okay, so why does it have snow all over it? Well, it's been sitting outside, we got some snow. Why are we in the top garage? Well, there's a couple reasons, guys. For one, the shop is just jam-packed with projects. I couldn't get this thing open um, the way I wanted it to to clean it. And the other thing is all my detailing supplies are up top here. So that is why it's here. And um, hopefully some of this snow is gonna melt off while we're up here. It is pretty chilly. Uh, it's not too bad in the garage, but take a look at this interior. It is absolutely disgusting. There's a ton of stuff broken, ton of stuff missing. Um, we're not really gonna focus on that. What we're gonna focus on is seeing if we can clean this mess up. The very first thing, obviously, we're gonna need to drag a trash can over here and take all this stuff out. But the seat, the reason the seat is missing is because I took it to my upholstery shop, which is honestly, it's my neighbor, and uh, he does a great job. The seat was completely thrashed. If you guys didn't check the video out when I bought it, I went around it and showed you some of the issues with it. And uh, so the seat was down in the foam and even some of the foam was gone. Not real comfortable to drive. So I wanted to get it replaced or recovered and I couldn't find a replacement. So I had him start the recovery process. Now I did drive this thing to the shop, took it out, drove it home with no seat on this piece of foam. I did try to use my little red seat over there, which I will list in the description. You guys love that thing and I do too. My wife bought that me for, for Christmas uh, a couple years back and it has been honestly one of the best things I've ever had. But the primary goal today is um, I think we're going to try to see how clean we can get this interior. And then there's a couple things that um, I want to replace, but we'll get to that later. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to set you guys up on the tripod and we are going to grab the trash can and get started by just throwing a bunch of this stuff in the trash. So I'll tell you guys one thing. Uh, and if you've watched this channel very long, you know, but I have a little bit of an OCD problem and cleaning stuff like this, like projects like this are just, they're just an absolute blast to me. I love, I love seeing how clean I can get stuff. And, um, I don't know. There's just a, I just have a problem with wanting to clean everything, probably more than it needs to be cleaned, but that's just how I am. Like I said, it's, it's an OCD problem that I have. Man, there's some wrenches in here. I don't even know what all this stuff is. I'm trying to get the major big stuff that I don't want to try to suck up with a vacuum cleaner. There's a big spring. I don't know what this stuff goes to. Looks like the jacks are out. We're going to take everything out of the way that we don't need in the way and it will come out and set it to the side for now we'll put the jack back in when we're finished but i think that's about all the big stuff here so now look how clean that is under the format this is the original format keep in those let's go grab the vacuum and see what we can clean out
So it's unbelievable what just a vacuum will do, but um, we can do better. We can do better than this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab a Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna take these end caps off on both sides. I'm gonna take the seat belts out uh, so we have a nice clean seating surface. This is all broken apparently. Um, probably take these seat belts out as well. And then other than that, like the dash and stuff, guys, I'll probably just wipe down. Uh, I'm not gonna spend, you know, I might use my little detail brush on some spots, but um, let's go grab some tools and get all the seat belts out. At this point, you can see I've got all the seat belts out. A T45 is all you need there. And then I went ahead and took the kick panels out and these lower panels here on both sides where the speakers rest. Um, I just wanted all the carpet free and vacuum underneath it. I don't know I'll necessarily clean up there, but uh, I wanted them out so I could vacuum underneath it. It's pretty gross. Anyway, so at this point, I'm gonna use some purple power. I'm gonna like kind of douse this down with some purple power. And then I have my um, extractor here. This is a Bissell. I'll list it in the description down below, guys. This thing, for the price, I don't know that you could get much better. Um, now, there's some like Karchers and stuff out there that are way more commercial, but no more than I use this. I'm gonna see exactly how clean we can get this. I'm gonna try to start probably over here. And uh, obviously the mat's been in there for a while. You can see how nice the carpet looks under here. I really think that this area here is faded. I mean, there's dirt on it obviously, but I think it's more faded than anything. So I don't think we're gonna get it to look quite like where the mat was or under the seat, but we can make it look a lot better and livable to set in and not feel so gross. So I'm gonna grab that thing. I'll set you back up on the tripod and see what we can do. it is looking a ton better now I know a lot of you guys are gonna say why don't you just take it out and take it to the car wash and honestly that's probably a better option um, but I like to see how good this thing works it does great on spots like this like all the spots under the seat are definitely gonna come out now like I said I'm pretty sure that's faded so I doubt that you know it, it's looking more blue than it did before but it's not gonna ever look like what's under the seat like I had said but um, the downside to taking it out and taking it to the car wash, guys, is it's obviously it's cold outside and uh, it'll take forever to dry. Now, I may end up doing that if I don't like what I'm getting uh, as far as results go. But as of now, I think I'm just going to keep plugging away and uh, cleaning. Now, the, the other side is obviously the worst because that's where majority of the dirt was is where the driver was getting in and out. But uh, for now, I'm just going to keep uh, filling this thing up going over it. Now I might go grab my scrub brush that goes on the end of my drill and uh, scrub some of the more, well, the more soiled areas just to see if we can get a little more of that loosened up before I go over it again.
cleaner, but here's what I've decided. I'm gonna pull it out, I'm gonna take it to the car wash. And the reason why, guys, is I don't have just a gob of time to do this. And uh, while I do like doing it, and it's something satisfying about it, I think we're gonna try the car wash method. So what I'm gonna do is, I've got everything loose that needs to come out in order to do that, other than the shift boot. But there's just four screws that hold the shift boot in, and once I get it loose, then I should be able to just yank this carpet completely out. So at this point, I've got the carpet out, as you can see, and it's not too hard. Like I said, all I had to do is undo that shift boot. But what I'm going to do at this point is we're gonna start on the dash. Now, the dash is all cracked and gross, but there's a bunch of dirt and dust and like the speaker grills, which is pretty common on these. And uh, I'm not gonna take those out because they're a real pain. I don't have a short screwdriver up here and that's what you need to take those out. And I actually think they're like a Torx bit. But anyway, I'm gonna take a little brush and kind of brush through that using my vacuum at the same time. And then we'll just wipe all the dust off the dash. I might use some, uh, I don't know, not arm raw, but some sort of uh, treatment in order to uh, make it look a little nicer. It's not gonna look real great because the dash is all cracked and heck, half of it might come off of my hand. But like I said, we're just trying to make this thing clean and uh, presentable to set in. And uh, that is not where it is right now. So uh, let's go grab the brush and some, uh, I don't know, some cleaner of some sort and the vacuum. majority of the dash you can see I've just coated it I'm letting it set overnight now and I'm getting ready to go in but I get, I went ahead and cleaned the door jams I didn't show you guys that on the other side I thought my camera was recording but apparently it wasn't so I still got to do the door jams over here and this trim guys um, or the plastic or the rubber um, obviously was glued before and when I took that piece off the side here it came loose so I'm probably just gonna clean it up the best I can there's a lot of like adhesive on there that's just not gonna clean off that's okay like I said I'm not trying to make it perfect but I did go ahead I've got these setting with stuff on them too the original floor mats all the panels that I took out I cleaned them and put some coating on them as well so all these panels are ready to go back in but in the morning I'm gonna come out here probably gonna start uh, I'll be able to see hopefully with some more daylight where the areas that I missed as far as using my little detail brush and like these little areas here I think we're gonna have some areas there that I need to clean and then we are going to take this to the car wash and I'll, if I can I'll try to bring my tripod and set it up so you guys can see how gross the water comes out of this the downside is I think I'm not gonna have any help and I will tell you guys that when you do this it is incredibly heavy now being it's a little s10 and a regular cab maybe it won't be too bad but I guess we're gonna load this up in the morning and uh, well that will just cut to that part
at this point it's been about a week since I power washed this and you can see that you know I've let it dry out and like I said here in these areas it's all faded from the sun and obviously you can see that there's some areas that didn't come out uh, quite like I thought they might but honestly guys I was just looking to clean it up so I'm gonna live with it can you buy new carpet yes it's about 120 bucks and honestly um, that may be the route to go on one of these there is some trimming required when you buy new carpet but we're gonna reassemble this I got the seat back from the poster which I'll show you guys once we get all this finished up but let's get this thing uh, back together I've got all the trim panels cleaned here and ready to go back in so we're gonna take some time and put this back together things you'll do in these trucks especially since everything screws together is trying to find the original hole not only through the carpet but in like your kick panels and the surround for the shifter and these little panels and stuff so what I'm using guys is just a punch or a pick and I'm lining up that hole before I start threading a um, screw in it because it will drive you crazy trying to find the screw hole um, because you can't really see it the carpet's kind of plush so it you know it kind of hides itself so grab yourself one of these picks put in the hole if you have a couple of them it's great it helps get a couple pieces aligned and then at least one of them will start and then you can kind of work your way around it seat belts in guys because it is a real pain to get the seat in by yourself and wrestle those up in through there so I'm just gonna I'm gonna vacuum this thing one more time and then I'm gonna set the seat belts there for now we'll set the seat in and then we'll worry about snaking them up through the seat so I'm gonna go grab the vacuum vacuum this up one more time well I say one more time I'm gonna vacuum it now put the seat in I'll probably vacuum it again got it all vacuumed out one once again and so let's take a look at the seat so I told you guys that my upholstery guy recover the seat so check this thing out looks so much better um, all the foam was missing on this side uh, and it was just terribly uncomfortable to drive so this is the main reason that I did this whole project anyway is I thought well as long as we got the seat out we might as well clean things up now it's not perfect the seat is 
But the truck, you know, it really needs this trim because it's been glued. That's not dirt. That's actually leftover glue uh, from somebody trying to glue that trim up. But it's looking better. And so we're going to go ahead and get the seat in. I'll list his information down in the description below, guys. Um, he does an absolutely amazing job. And the blue is not quite the color, but I wanted it quick. And um, I just he, I got what he had in stock. And it doesn't look bad. And we're not going for a show truck here anyway. We're just going for a better looking easier to drive truck. So let's get this thing in here and uh, get it bolted down. There's just four 15 millimeter nuts that screw onto the studs. Not too bad. At this point, I think we're as far as we're going to go. I got the seat in, I got the seat belt shoved up in there. And let me tell you guys, if you don't have two people doing this, getting those seat belts up in there, and mine are all broken. You can see the, the pieces are broke. If they weren't even broken, it would be a real pain um, to get up in there. It's just a real hassle just not a real great design by GM they really probably should have tucked them through the seat instead of going through those little channels but anyway it's in there it looks way better it's obviously way more functional than it was it's comfortable to drive now or at least to set in I haven't really driven it with the seat in but looks a thousand times better and um, you know as far as the dash and stuff can't do much with the cracks I probably could spend a little more time on the vents but I got a majority of the dust and stuff out of the vents all the stuff out from around the radio and I clean this off really well. It's just looking way better and I feel comfortable setting in it. Now the headliner, that's another story. It's, it's gross, but we'll deal with that. Like I said, guys, I'm not trying to turn this into a project, but this is something that I can't sit in a dirty car. There's something about OCD with me that uh, tries to clean everything, regardless of what kind of condition it's in. So that's just the way I am. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this stuff. I love doing like details like this. I, Ma the main part that I like is just vacuuming up the old junk. So sometimes I watch people's video and just watch them back and vacuum stuff up. But anyway, I think we're to the point now where the next video you'll see on this truck will be us, uh, our first drive with my son trying to teach him how to drive a manual. And then, like I said, I don't really have any plans for this truck. So once we learn and he gets really comfortable, I may sell it. I may not. It's been kind of nice um, if I need to haul something that I really don't want to put in one of my other trucks. It is kind of nice to have a beater around to just throw stuff in and not really care about. So if you guys did enjoy this video, like always, please smash that thumbs up button. I will list all the stuff in the description that I use, which wasn't a ton of stuff, but all the cleaning stuff that I like to use, I'll list down there in the description. But if you're not subscribed, guys, make sure you go down there, hit that subscribe button. While you're down there, ring that bell icon. That notifies you every time we drop a new video. And stay tuned to see what we work on next.